Hey folks, this is Dave Bartosowitz. I wanted to share something that I have been discovering from the time I left from 2009 in the LDS faith to where it is today. That's almost 14 years actually. And I've, I've got to share this because I think it's really important what's going on in the LDS community. In 2008, I had the opportunity to look at the council, the actual conference talks, right? The conference talks during the April and October um, conferences, as well as 2009. And it was really interesting, the amount of talks that dealt with living prophets or dealt with Joseph Smith, uh, there really wasn't that much talks related to Jesus Christ in the sense of it describing Jesus. Now, one of the reasons why I had a big issue in 2008, 2009, and it was many years before that too, I would always tell my wife, why is it that we do not talk about Jesus in this faith? Yes, they, they talk about Jesus, you know, in the prayers and, and so forth, but I never felt that we really discussed um, just who Jesus was many times. I felt it was more of, you know, the living prophets, Joseph Smith a lot, um, the past prophets, and the Book of Mormon, and all that stuff. And I know there's going to be some out there saying, well, that's all Jesus anyway. But for me, I really felt that there wasn't that much that was discussed solely about Jesus and the life of Jesus, right? Well, I've got to tell you, 2023, this past conference talk, I would like to share that I'm impressed right now with the LDS Church. What's taken place? What's going on? Mostly all the talks that they have, the actual titles of the talks are all about Jesus. It's incredible. From the prophets to, to the Relief Society, they're all talking about Jesus. I've also discovered, to be honest with you, so many LDS people love the Chosen, which is incredible. Um, there are a lot of people who are Christians, love the Chosen too as well. Some don't. Maybe some don't like the historical or or the, the kind of things that they do at the um, liberty of the hands of the directors, you know, and showcasing who Jesus and the apostles were. But I'm, I must tell you this. Um, I'm really impressed with the amount of people who are talking about Jesus in the Mormon faith, more so than it was ever before. And I must tell you, I like that. That's a good thing. This is a really good thing. I just had the opportunity, just, I was talking to this guy who was from Las Vegas and he was fixing my glasses because my wife sat on them, so I had to get them fixed. And this guy, he called himself a light Mormon, but he's devoted and he believes in it. He's a he's an individual that's really committed to the faith, um, but he's more light. And he and I were talking, he got it. He, he knows what's happening. Is I really believe the the LDS faith cannot be so involved in saying we're the only true church. It's all about Joseph Smith. It's the Book of Mormon. It's all about the living prophets all the time and the you know the past prophets. They are really coming to the point right now that Sandra Tanner told me this 12 years ago, and I asked her this question. I asked her, "What do you think is going to happen?" This is back in 2013. I said, T Sandra, what do you think is going to happen to the LDS faith in 20 years? She said to me, she says, it's either going to become militaristic, that they're only going to have a select few, or it's going to be more evangelical, right? And I remember her saying that. I've got to believe right now, I must tell you, I think that it's becoming more evangelical. I really do. I think things are really changing in that faith. They're always talking about Jesus, which is a great thing. Obviously, when I was talking to this um, young man about Jesus, because he said, well, you know, he met a born again Christian and this born again Christian doesn't believe that they're Christians because they don't believe in the same Jesus that we believe in. And so, yes, I understand that concept, right? I also understand that God 
he's probably looking at all of us and he's saying, you know, you could, you could think what you might think, but I know who I am. And a lot of times you don't understand me fully. So I have to have some allowances, right. And knowing, um, and knowing that, that fact, right. That God probably understands that the, the key is, I believe that the LDS church is moving toward really what Christianity believes in. That's the Trinity. That's Jesus and the Heavenly Father and the Holy Ghost are being united as one, right? And and we believe that. That's a that's a that goes from the beginning of the faith of Christian the Christian faith. So I believe that you're going to see probably in the future a turnaround to some of these things that might take place because many people have discovered a lot about the LDS faith and many people have left. And yes, you could say that many people are being baptized. I don't think it's nearly growing nearly as fast. I think we're seeing all those statistics that slow down tremendously, but they're trying to try to figure out, okay, what can we do to make this more acceptable and Christian as the Christian community is in this world. And I think that's what's taking place. That's just an idea. What are your thoughts on that? I mean, they're great people. I say all the time, they have a terrific system. They have a terrific village, people who really care about you. I've experienced that. And many who were former Mormons probably experienced that. The difference is the whole theological differences. That's the, that's the issue for a lot of people. That's why they leave. But anyway, think about that. If you want to write down below, please do. I'd love to have your comments. God bless you guys. Talk to you soon.